Well, donations, big and small, are pouring in to help a local dream become a reality. Today, thousands of dollars were donated to Brooklyn's playground. And as Stuart Summers reports, these donations are coming in from the young and the young at heart. Tuesday was a big day for the ongoing efforts to build an inclusive all-access playground. The morning began at Indian Hills Elementary School in Pocatello, where students there presented a check for $350. Brooklyn's Playground also received an additional check for $158 from the ISU Children's Chorus. The chorus of young students also sang a song that was specifically written for this community-backed project. Tuesday's donations did not stop there. An earlier challenge from Dorsey Hill was met. This idea of the match came up and I put it out there and somebody took a nice big bite. <laughs> that somebody was Idaho Central Credit Union who presented Brooklyn's Playground with a $10,000 check. Dorsey will now match that donation for a grand total of $20,000. I want everyone to have the feeling I have, the excitement, the enjoyment, the knowing that you've participated in it and what a wonderful opportunity it will be for all of our children. And Idaho Central Credit Union agrees. We, have, we all have children and grandchildren who live here in this area. We're a big part of Pocatello and Chubbuck. And so uh, really it's, it comes down to that. This is a great cause and, and we're a big part of the community. Brooklyn Fisher, the name behind this community playground, was all smiles as she realized this goal is now closer. She's so excited about this project. We've been talking about it for a while, but she understands, you know, it's, it's starting to get closer to, to a reality. A reality that is backed by a generous community. Things like this that are going to make this, this playground a reality are going to make it happen. Let's In Pocatello, Stuart Summers, KPVI News 6. Now Brooklyn's playground is still in the running for a $15,000 grant from Dr. Pepper and Snapple. And you can help with this. The voting on this ends at 10 o'clock tonight. For all the details on how you can vote, Brooklyn's Playground is in first place, by the way, but we don't want to lose this one. You can head to our Facebook page uh, or get some details at kpbi.com.